This is Lisa today. She used to run and swim, but lately she doesn't feel very well. She feels tired and dizzy. So Lisa has decided to go to see her doctor. Lisa is visiting Dr. Garcia today. He has treated more than 1,000 patients in the last five years with the same diagnosis as Lisa's atrial fibrillation. Lisa doesn't know what atrial fibrillation means. Her doctor is talking so quickly and saying words she's never heard before. Lisa is lost. She asks Dr. Garcia if he can explain again. The doctor starts explaining. The normal heart beats like this. In a healthy heart, the rhythm of the heart is controlled by an electrical system. A series of coordinated electrical signals start in a part of the heart near the top called the sinus node. The preceding electrical impulse bounces across the heart and tells the heart when and where to contract. This synchronized heartbeat continuously circulates oxygenated blood from the lungs, through the heart and to the rest of the body. But Lisa's heart is not currently in sinus rhythm. Her heart is in a rhythm called atrial fibrillation. In people with atrial fibrillation, also called AF, electrical signals are abnormal and largely chaotic. In atrial fibrillation, electrical impulses do not originate in the sinus node, as in sinus rhythm. These irregular impulses can come from another part of the atrium, or more often, from the pulmonary veins. These abnormal electrical signals can become rapid and disorganized. These signals are transmitted irregularly from the top chambers of the heart, called the atria, to the bottom chambers of the heart, called the ventricles. When the top and the bottom of the heart are not in a regular rhythm, this is what can cause some patients to feel tired and unwell. During atrial fibrillation, because the atria do not contract regularly, blood is not emptied efficiently to the ventricles. This miscommunication creates a high stroke risk for the patient. Some people with AF never experience symptoms. Others are diagnosed because they experience symptoms and report them. Symptoms can include irregular pounding or rapid heartbeat. Some people describe the feeling of butterflies or fish flopping in their chest. Dizziness, fainting, breathlessness, weakness, fatigue, and chest pains are a few of the most common symptoms of AF. Lisa has been diagnosed with AF, but she is not alone. AF is the most common type of irregular heartbeat and an estimated 33 million people worldwide are living with AF. AF is the most commonly experienced sustained arrhythmia. More than 30% of hospitalized heart patients have AF. The estimated population based prevalence is 0.4 to 1% of total population, 3 to 4% older than 60 years, 7% older than 70 years, 10% older than 80 years. Lisa now understands AF. She feels more comfortable discussing her treatment options.